wait. It's Friday, so they're automatically happy. That's just the rules. On Fridays, you have to be happy. I guess unless you work on a Saturday. I don't know. I still would be happy on a Friday if I worked a Saturday. Uh -huh. Just wanted you to know I saw my laugh track. So we're going to go side to side. I got my laugh track always. That's the first thing I grab before I grab my dumbbells. I'm like, let me make sure I got everything in place. Laugh track, check. So as you're doing this, try to make sure you're thinking of bracing your core. You're keeping that back nice and strong. Your shoulders are relaxed. We're going to go one more to each side. Then you're going to have one leg up straight. Doesn't matter which one. You can grab behind that hamstring. And we're going to alternate there, right? If your back's feeling extra tight, you could have one foot down and just alternate like that, right? It's really kind of whatever feels good to you. Right? And you've got your shoulders relaxing, you're breathing. And we're going to go about one more to each side. And then we're going to relax our legs down. And we'll do some of our bridges, of course. So exhale, pushing up. We're going to squeeze those glutes. Nice and easy. You're coming right back down, right? So basic bridges. They're so basic. They're bridges. Just so you know, right? I know you're giggling at my jokes on the other side of the screen, obviously. Then on this next motion, we're gonna add a little bit of hip work to it. So you're gonna press up, your knees will go wide, they'll come back and down. So when I say your knees go wide, it doesn't have to be like the most wide thing ever. It's just enough to wake up those glutes a little bit more. So you're just up, wide, and then back down, right? So kind of like we've done this motion with a band around our legs, Right, kind of continue to have a band, but you don't, okay? We're gonna go about 10 more seconds like this, then we're gonna go into some core bracing. So let's do three more. Here's one, here's two, here is three. Then we're gonna relax those hips down. So what we're gonna do here, you're gonna have your right leg in tabletop. We're gonna be bracing our core, keeping our lower back down. Exhale, our leg kicks out straight. Inhale, our leg comes right back in. Right, so our head doesn't have to be up. If you like having your head up, that's okay too. Okay, but your main focus here is keeping that lower back down. Okay, so we're gonna do two more like this. Then you're gonna keep that leg out straight and we're gonna bring it up and down, right? So when that leg comes up, you might get a nice little stretch through that hamstring. My right hamstring is tight, woo! Okay, and then we're gonna do about one more here and then we're gonna combine, right? So you're gonna bend your knee in, kick your leg out, Lift up, come down, bend in, right? You're just literally combining the two moves that we did, right? We're warming up those hip flexors, we're warming up our legs, and of course, we're warming up our core, right? Don't forget about that lovely core, okay? So we're gonna do about two more here, right? So here I'm starting my first one of two, right? And then here's my last one, okay? And then I'm gonna switch legs. So right leg is bent, on the floor, left legs and tabletop. So remember, we're just gonna kick out and bend back in, right? We gotta start with the foundation of this move, making sure your core is nice and tight, right? If you wanted to hold your crunch, you could. You don't have to, it's up to you. We got about two more. And you're gonna kick that left leg out straight. Our left leg is gonna come up and down, right? So our leg is up and down. You're stretching out that hamstring as it kicks up. Your quad might start to burn. Your core could be burning, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Okay, and we're gonna do two more and then we're gonna combine, right? So remember you combine, you're gonna bend in, kick out, lift up, come down, right? We're just combining, bend in, kick out, up and down. Isn't that kind of fun, right? A little bit of a new switch up to your warm up here today, right? Sometimes you just need a mix up in that warm up because you're already like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? Okay. Nice and controlled. We're gonna do two more here. Okay, so here's one for me. And I'm a kick in. Here's my last one. And I'm a kick in. And then I'm gonna relax. So next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna have both legs in tabletop. Okay, so as you're in tabletop, really make sure you draw in with those core muscles, right? You want your core to be strong, right? You can even feel it nice and tight. You're gonna inhale in, exhale, kick both those legs up nice and straight, nice and easy coming back. 
Okay, if your back is really tight, you will just put one foot down, right? It doesn't matter, it's okay. As long as you brace that core, it doesn't matter if you have one leg down, right? Okay, stretching out those legs, nice and controlled. We're gonna do three more and then we're gonna keep those legs up there. There's one, here's two, here's three. Then we're gonna have our hands behind our head and we are gonna slow crunch. So exhale coming up, inhale coming back, right? If you need to have one foot down for this, that's perfectly okay. Focus on that nice straight leg or legs and core, right? And if your back is just like, heck no, I don't want my legs up, that's fine. You can always go to tabletop where you can have both feet down, right? Lots of options here. Okay, you're doing a great job. We're gonna go five more. Here's one, there's two, here's three, here's four, here's five. And you're gonna relax those legs down and your head down. So we're gonna do a few just single leg bridges because why not, right? Why not? Okay. So cross your right leg over to your left. We're gonna press up and down into our bridge, right? So you're pressing up as high as you can and then those hips come down. Taking your time, right? It doesn't have to be fast. If the single leg bridge doesn't work for your back, remember you can have both feet down. It's not gonna hurt anything, right? Modifying is good for you. Nothing wrong with modifying, I modify. But right now I'm here, I can't modify too much because you guys be like, hey, do the hard part. You wanna see me suffer a little bit, you know? I understand it. Okay, we got two more, there's one. Here's two, all right, switching those legs, right legs down, left legs over. Same fun thing, we're up and down. All right, so you can have your hands by your side as you do this. I like to have my hands behind my head. Makes me feel like I'm more relaxed on the beach, right? So it's like, I'm like, do, 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 just doing bridges on the beach, you know? So it's nice and controlled. Don't worry about how high up your hips go. They're going up high enough. Right? No one's going to get their ruler out to measure where your butt's going. Okay, we got three more. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. Go ahead and relax, and we're going to get rolling. So you're going to grab two dumbbells. So we got two different moves here. So move number one is going to be a little bit of arms and core. Move number two is going to be all core. So we'll go 30 seconds of each move and then we're gonna repeat it so there won't be any rest, okay? So your first move, you're gonna do alternating tricep squat pressures, right? So that means you'll bend down one and then the other. You could have legs in tabletop or they can be down on the floor. Your second move is gonna be a core bracing move where we lower both legs and come back, okay? So we're gonna start with just our alternating triceps first. Ready and go. So you're just gonna bend down one and then the other, right? Nice and controlled. You want your elbow pointing to the ceiling, making sure you're thinking about bracing your core. So you don't have to have your legs in the tabletop, right? If you want them on the floor, that's okay too. Try to watch those heels and make sure they're not sagging down if you're doing tabletop. Okay, we got 10 seconds until we go to our core bracing move. Okay, nice and controlled. So let's go one more to each arm. Here's one, here's two. Arms stay up straight, bracing that core. Exhale, both legs come down. Inhale, they come back up. So you wanna make sure you're keeping a 90 degree angle with those knees, right? If you were in a math textbook, you would have a little square on your knees. I know, that's the best math joke ever. Okay, nice and controlled. Exhale down, inhale up. Make sure that back is staying down. You should be shaking in your abs if you are bracing your core correctly. Okay, this should not be easy. If you need one foot down, that's okay too. We have five seconds, so let's do one more. Okay, and we're gonna go right back into our alternating triceps. This time, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can go a little bit quicker and make sure you always have those arms moving, right? So you've got your back down, you're breathing, you're moving, we're pumping, you're burning, right? So nice and controlled, don't hit yourself in the face, of course, right? You got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into our core bracing move, okay? Nice controlled movements. One more to each arm. Okay, arms are up straight, right into our core bracing. Exhale, those legs come down. Inhale, they come back up, right? On core bracing, you can go slow with this. You don't have to go fast. The closer you get to the floor, the harder it is, right? But really focus in on that core. Brace the core. Breathe with this move. You've got 15 seconds. 
almost in 15 minutes. How much are we losing it? You don't want to do this for 15 minutes. All right, we got five seconds. So let's do two more. Here is one. Here is two. And you're going to relax. So our second move that we're going to do, same setup. We got two new moves. So option number one is you can have both legs up straight or on the floor. You're going to do a chest press, but you'll press, you'll turn and twist, tap your weights together and come back. So that's move number one. Move number two is going to be both legs dropping up and down. Okay, so on this first move, if you want your legs down, you could. Ready? And go. So weights start down. You're going to press up, turn and twist, act like you're going to touch your pinkies together, come back. Press up, turn and twist, and 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 back. Okay, we got about 15 seconds. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into our leg lift motion. Okay, let's do three more here. Here's one, here's two, here's three. Keep those weights up, exhale, legs come down, inhale, legs come up, right? You can go nice and slow. It doesn't even have to be a huge motion, right? If you're getting way down to that floor, ooh, you better be shaking like there's no tomorrow, okay? Nice and controlled, legs are nice and straight. If you needed to modify, you could have one foot down, right? Making sure you're bracing that core, you're breathing. We got five seconds and then we're going back to our arm move. So let's do one more. Here's one. Keep those legs up if you can. Weights are coming down. We're pressing up, turn and twist, right? So you're up, turn and twist, then back up, turn and twist. Keeping our core tight, keep those legs nice and straight if you can. Keep those weights moving, right? You're breathing, you're moving, you're thinking like, dang, I'm a Pilates machine. Okay, nice and controlled with it. We got about five seconds, so let's do three more. Here's one, here's two, here's three. Keep those weights up and exhale, our legs come down, inhale, our legs come up, right? Nice and controlled. Whoo, my hips and hip flexors are kind of tight today. I'm burning up. Okay, you're doing a great job. Keep on pressing. Right, are not pressing, I guess lowering and raising. Okay, we got 15 seconds. Remember, modifying is all right. Do what you need to do to core brace. You could even repeat your tabletop legs if you want. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Here's one. Here is two, and you're gonna relax. All right, so our next move, you don't need any weights for. We're gonna do some bridges. <clears throat> so you got two moves. Actually, you do need your weights. I like, you like, I like. So you're gonna have your arms up, okay? We're gonna bring our weights together. So we're holding in a bridge. Arms will stay straight. As you bring your arms back, you're gonna kick out one leg and then the other. We're gonna go 30 seconds like that. Then we'll stick to one side and we'll pulse. Then we'll repeat the march and then we'll pulse the other side, okay? So start with those weights together. You're in a bridge. Let those arms come straight back. You're gonna alternate. Kick, right? So arms are straight. You're kicking back or kicking out as you go back. So you should feel that all the way through your core. You're like stretching that whole body out, right? You're kicking. You're doing a great job. You got 15 seconds, right? If you need to modify, just hold the bridge and focus on the arms. No big deal. Okay. On this next one, keep your right leg out. Your weights are back as far as you can. You're going to close up and down on that left leg, right? If you modify, just have both feet down and pulse it. Otherwise, we are pulsing, 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 right? Holding that resistance in the left leg, holding that resistance behind our head with that weight, right? Or as far back as you can. If you need to have your weights up, right? That's okay. Okay, you're doing a great job. 10 seconds to go. Breathing, breathing. You got three, two, one, bring those weights back up. We're doing our alternating kick, right? We're going back to our first move before we pulse on the other side, right? Because you don't want to do this exercise for four minutes, right? If we had to repeat each side, we'd be bridging for like four minutes straight. No, thank you. I'm not that crazy. And the good news is we just got our left leg out of the way. 
So when I write leg pulses, it just automatically makes it easier. Okay. You got about one more to each leg. Okay, and then we're gonna keep our right leg down, left leg is out, and we're gonna pulse up and down. So try to have those arms straight back, right? Not touching the floor, but behind your head at least, right? See how far you can let those weights go, okay? Bridging up and down, left leg's nice and straight. Remember, if you're modifying, both feet are down and you're still pulsing, okay? Nice and controlled. You got 10 seconds to go. Not any bad. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Ah, yes. And then now we're gonna come to the seated position. Okay, so for this move, we are gonna be in a V sit. So if you want something behind your lower back, you could, or you could stand up and do a different version too. Okay, but what we're gonna do, I gotta look at my notes here. So you're gonna be doing a V set. Press. So you're going to be tilted back, pressing up and down, right? So if you were using a ball, you could just have it behind your lower back or like a pillow blanket, and it would be hanging out there, and it should make it so you don't have back pain, okay? So that's your first move, right there. Second move, you have the option, okay? As you press up, you can alternate and kick legs, or you're going to go both. And then we're going to repeat, right? So if you have a ball, you'll still have it that whole time, okay? Ready? And go. So first move, you're just focusing on those weights. You're controlling and back, right? If you want to use that ball for that lower back, you can. If you don't want to, it just makes it harder. Okay, but the ball should be there to support you, but not do the work, right? So you're not going to be sagging back on the ball. You want the ball to support, but not do the work for you. Okay, nice and controlled. Keep on moving. The fun's going to start here soon. I can tell. One more. Okay. So now remember you have the option, as you press, you can alternate kicks or you can do both, okay? Same thing, you can do that with a ball if you want, right? Either way, nice and controlled, okay? Alternate those legs or do both legs at a time, right? Whatever you feel like you're ready for, right? And you're thinking, uh oh, we have to repeat this. My arms are tired. You can go down the one way if you need. Okay, nice and controlled. I'm just looking at my watch. One more. Keep those feet down. This time, we'll do an alternating press just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so just alternating press, right? We're repeating on back to the top here. Okay, nice and controlled. Breathing with the movement. Chin staying off your chest. If you're looking for a focal point, look where that wall and the ceiling meet. It'll help you hold that position. Okay. We got five, four, three, two, one. So we're still gonna alternate, right? So if you're alternating and doing legs one at a time, you would just do that, right there, or you can go for both, right? So we're just repeating right there. Okay, if you wanna do the alternating, here you are, or both, okay? Nice and controlled, keeping that core tight, keep on breathing through. Right, we're almost there, I promise. Okay, hanging on to it. Oof, watch Mary almost fall backwards. That's what happens when you look at your clock and try to do Pilates. Okay, we got two more, here's one. There's two and you're gonna relax. Okay, we got one more little set here, just one more little one, right, quick and easy on a Friday. So you got both dumbbells, you're gonna have your arms up straight, Okay, and our legs are up straight. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna start off by just alternating your arms back one at a time. Okay, then from there, our weights will stay put. You're gonna alternate your legs, right? And then by golly, you know what we're gonna do? Opposite arm and opposite leg alternating. So a little bit of a different set, but it's still gonna be two minutes worth here. Okay, ready? And go. Okay, so if you can, both legs are up straight. You're just alternating one arm and then the other, right? Focus on that core. If you want one foot down, go for it. By all means, you can, okay? Nice and controlled. You got 15 seconds. Okay, so you should really focus on that core, focusing on controlling those weights. In a second here, our legs get to take over, right? My hip flexor and quad is kind of tight. So if yours is too, mine is too, okay? 
weights stay there, we're alternating those legs. So one leg drops, it comes up, and then the other, right? Core bracing here. So if you did one leg at a time, I'll tell you when halfway is, and you can switch, or you don't have to switch, I suppose. Okay, so that's your halfway mark if you're modifying. Nice and controlled, right? This is our last move because it's going to burn us out pretty nicely, okay? Keep on breathing, one more to each leg. Okay, so now we're going to combine our arms and legs. You're going to do opposites, okay? So I'll walk us through. It's nice and slow. We're going to go right arm, left leg, come back to the middle. Left arm, right leg, back to the middle, right? So that's our pace. We're going slow and controlled because we're doing this for a minute. And in about 15 seconds, we're going to go quick, okay? And that's our last move of the day. So focus on your core. Keep on breathing. Arms and legs are as straight as possible. We're going to go one more to each side. Here's one. Here's two. So now we're going to do a continuous movement. So that means that your arms and legs are always moving like a dead bug, right? And you're kind of looking like you're moving quick. Okay, nice and controlled. Try not to stop. This is your last move of the day, right? And it's a good thing because it's pretty evil. You have less than 15 seconds, okay? And then we're all done. You can do it. Hang with it. We're almost there. Keep breathing. Focus on your core. Put a foot down if you want. You got five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to relax. And there you have it. Come on. Try it. Yowza wowza.